Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this vest. I also would have left some snippets on how this looks on me as well in the intro of this video. I'll leave links in the, des in the description box below on the items that I used to make this vest. Now we're going to start by making a slip knot. And you can do this in whichever way you prefer. And then we're going to make 13 chain stitches. Now to do a chain stitch, simply yarn over and pull through for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now once you've done your 13 chains, next we're going to do a row of slip stitches. Now to start, we'll be skipping this first chain here and in the second chain is where we'll do our first slip stitch. Now to do that slip stitch, simply insert your hook into the second chain, pulling through a loop. And then we're going to pull that loop through the loop that was already on our hook. Like that and we're going to do that in each stitch going across the row now before I continue I'll also be putting a marker on my first slip stitch there and that's because this helps me to identify where my row ends and begins that's easy for me you, you not everyone needs to use a marker I just like doing it because it makes the work easier for me now I'm going to do another slip stitch, slip stitches going across the row, so again we insert our hook, pull through a loop, and then we're going to pull that through the loop already on the hook. So it's really easy to do, we insert our hook inside the stitch, pull through a loop, and pull that through the loop already on the hook. So go ahead and continue that going down to our last chain. So I have one chain left and in that chain I'm going to do my last slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one, turn my work and start my next row. Now I'm going to start by doing slip stitches again going across the row and for the bottom of our vest we'll only be doing slip stitches in each stitch. So to start the next row, we're going to identify our first stitch, which is here. This is our chain one stitch. This is the first stitch of the row. And we're going to be inserting our hook right to the top of the stitch here. So insert your hook through the middle of the stitch. And then we're going to pull through a loop and pull that through the loop on the hook and again I'm going to be placing a marker on my first slip stitch of the round because that makes it easier for me to identify all my stitches and then I'm going to continue doing slip stitches going across the row so one here again we just go ahead and insert our hook through the middle of the stitch pulling through a loop and then we're going to pull that through the loop on the hook. Right through the middle of the stitch like that, pulling through a loop. So I'm going to continue slip stitches going across the row. And as we get to our last stitch, which our marker is in, you can go ahead and remove your marker and complete the slip stitch in that last stitch. Once completed, go ahead and chain one and turn or work. Now it's important to note that we're doing 12 slip stitches in total in the row 
Again, this is our chain one stitch and this is the first stitch of the row. So we're going to insert through the middle, pull through and complete the slip stitch. If you need to use a marker, you can go ahead and add a stitch marker to the first stitch and then continue doing slip stitches going across the row. And that's pretty much how we complete the pattern at this point. So I'm going to continue doing slip stitches until my work looks like this. In total, I've done 155 rows of slip stitches going across. So to get started, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to work single crochets in between stitches here. If you pull or work apart, you'll see just spaces in between the pattern that we would have created here for our slip stitch. It's a rib pattern that's created. And I'm going to be placing my single crochets right through the middle. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start by placing my first single crochet here. And to do a single crochet, simply insert this, your hook through the stitch like that. I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops. I'll also be placing a marker on my first stitch. And then right in between or rib stitch here, I'm going to be doing another single crochet. So that's where I do my placements right in between. I think it's much easier this way going across the row. So again, we do a single crochet right in between where we insert our hook, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops right in between. It's very easy to find. So you can just go ahead and continue doing single crochets going across the row. So I've completed most of my single crochets going across the row. I only have a few left, so I'll do one right in between here as I've been doing. And I'll also do one right to the edge as well. Now once completed, go ahead and chain one. And we're going to turn our work. And now we'll be working on the main pattern for our vis. Now the pattern that I'm about to start is a one row repeat. And what that means is that we'll be doing this exact same pattern in each row to come. Now we're going to start by doing a half double crochet and to do a half double crochet simply yarn over, insert your hook under that first stitch and pull through a loop. With three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. Now I'll also be placing a marker atop that first stitch and in the stitch beside it, I'll be doing a slip stitch. Now again, to do a slip stitch, we pull up a loop and then we're going to pull that through the loop already on the hook. And then we're going to do a half double crochet beside that and follow our half double crochet with a slip stitch. So that's all that's needed for this row. We'll do a half double crochet and slip stitch until the row is completed. So I'll do a few more. Again, a half double crochet is done by yarning over, pulling up a loop with three loops on the hook. We yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. And beside that, we do a slip stitch where we insert our hook under the stitch and pull up a loop. We're going to pull that loop through the loop already on the hook. Half double crochet and a slip stitch. So go ahead and continue the pattern going all across the row. So I've just completed my last half double crochet of the row and now I'm going to remove my marker and beside that half double crochet I'll be doing a slip stitch. Now that's my last stitch of the row. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work and we're going to do in this row exactly what we did in the last. 
so we're going to start by doing a half double crochet in the last row we ended it by doing a slip stitch and now on top of that the slip stitch from the last row will be doing a half double crochet so yarn over insert and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops for that half double crochet I'm still going to place my marker back on top of that first stitch and then I'm going to continue the pattern so I'll be doing a slip stitch and a half double crochet slip stitch and half double crochet And I'll just go ahead and continue that going across the row. So it's the exact same pattern that we would have done in the last row that we'll be doing in this row. So I've just completed my final half double crochet of the row. I'm going to remove my marker. And in that last stitch, I'll be doing a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and repeat that exact same pattern in this row as well. So I'm going to start off by doing my half double crochet. I'm going to place my marker on top of that stitch. And I'm going to follow that with a slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. And slip stitch. A half double crochet and slip stitch so I'm going to continue the pattern going across the row and then I'll do a few more rows you want to do 50 rows in total now this is what your work should look like after completing 50 rows and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my yarn pulling it all the way through. Now, turning our work, we're going to start by skipping eight stitches. So I placed markers here, and that's eight stitches on both sides. So we'll now be only working in the middle here. We'll complete the pattern, the same pattern that we've been doing, but we'll only be doing it from this marker to this marker. So you'll see here where I skipped eight stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I placed a marker here and I would have done the same on this side. Now taking off my marker, I'm just going to go ahead and insert my hook, yarn over and pull through a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over once more, insert my hook underneath that same stitch and pull up a loop. So now we have three loops on the hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops. And that's going to create my first half double crochet of the row. I'm gonna place a marker back on the first half double crochet there. And then after doing that, I'm just going to repeat the pattern that we've been doing so far, right? So we've done a half double crochet, which means in the next stitch, we'll do a slip stitch. And then we'll do a half double crochet beside that. And then a slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and continue the pattern going all the way across until I get to my marker here. Now I've completed the pattern up until the point of my marker. And I'm just going to remove that and complete the row with a slip stitch as I just did a half double crochet there. And then I'm going to turn chain one, turn my work and repeat the pattern going across the row. So again, that pattern is a starting by doing a half double crochet. I'm going to place a marker on top of that half double crochet stitch. I'm going to follow that with a slip stitch and then do the regular half double crochet 
and slip stitch pattern going across the row. Now this is what my work looks like after completing 46 rows in total starting here. And this part represents the back of the work. For the front we're going to do the exact same thing up to this point and I'll show you what I mean. Now this is the front and at this point it's done in the exact same way that we've done so far. I've added four rows doing this, you know, as I just demonstrated. We're going to stop after, after completing four rows here and then we're going to work on getting that V-shaped pattern for our color. Now we want to start by getting a marker in the direct center and the way that you do that is by folding your work. Just go ahead and fold it in half like so. And that will pretty much map out where the center is, but it's also important that you place your marker on a slip stitch and not a half double crochet. Now it's easy to identify which stitches are slip stitches and which stitches are half double crochets or half double crochets are the stitches that have this pattern here. And our slip stitch is usually the, the stitch beside it that goes down slightly. So this is a slip stitch, this is a half double crochet, which means this is a slip stitch and this is a half double crochet. Now I've already gotten started on the pattern for this row, which would be my fifth row. And I'm just going to continue the pattern as normal, going all the way across to or marker here, which is on the slip stitch right in the middle of the project. So I've done a half double crochet. I'm going to do a slip stitch beside it, followed by a half double crochet. And slip stitch, half double crochet, and slip stitch. And we're just going to go ahead and repeat that pattern going all the way across again until we get to our marker here. Now once we get to the slip stitch, which is located at the center of our project where the marker is, I'm going to keep my marker in at this point, but I'm also going to be doing a half double crochet on that slip stitch. Now I won't be continuing my work going across the row. Instead, I'll be chaining one and I'm going to turn my work. Now to get that V-shaped pattern for our color in the center, we're going to have to do decreases going across the row. So the decreases are going to happen right in the center here on our first stitch and the way we do that is by doing a half double crochet two together on this stitch as well as on this stitch here so I'll show you what I mean by that simply yarn over insert your hook into this stitch and pull up a loop without completing the half double crochet at this point as we usually do we're going to insert our hook under the stitch beside it, which is a slip stitch from the previous row, pulling through a loop. Now with four loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops. At this point, you can go ahead and place a marker on that first stitch. And then you can just go ahead and continue the pattern as normal. You will see here that this was a half double crochet from our pre previous round, which means we're good to go with doing a slip stitch on top of it, followed by a half double crochet, slip stitch, and half double crochet. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the pattern as normal going across the row. Now I've completed the pattern going across the row and I'm at my last stitch. I will remove my marker. 
I've just done a half double crochet which means I'll be doing a slip stitch beside it on this end then this is the end close to the sides here we'll be doing the pattern regularly so there will be no decreases on this end the decreases will only happen in the center which means that I'll simply be chaining one turning my work I'm gonna start by doing a half double crochet because I ended the last row with a slip stitch I'll place a marker back on top of that first stitch again this just makes it easier for me to identify the first and last stitch of the row and then I'll do a slip stitch right beside it and a half double crochet and slip stitch and I'm going to go ahead and continue the pattern going across now once we've gotten to our last two stitches of the row so this is where our marker is this is the second to last stitch we'll be doing a half double crochet two together so every time we get to the center across our center stitches we'll be doing a half double crochet two to start to end the row as well as to start the row so I'll do it again to demonstrate simply yarn over pull up a loop I'm gonna remove my marker here insert my hook inside the stitch where the marker was pulling through a loop so now we have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops then I'm gonna chain one I'm going to turn my work and then I'll be doing a half double crochet two together so every time again we, we, we do the stitches that align in the center we do a half double crochet two together so again that's we yarn over pull up a loop in the stitch beside it we insert our hook and pull through a loop that's going to leave us with four loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops I'll be placing my marker back on top of our first stitch here so it's easy for me to identify and then I'm going to continue the pattern as normal going across the row so I've completed the pattern as normal going across the row I'm going to remove my marker on my last stitch there I just did a half double crochet so I'll be doing a slip stitch to close out this row and then I'm going to chain one turn my work and I'm going to start my row by doing a half double crochet And I'll be placing a marker back on top of that first half double crochet stitch now the pattern that we completed in the last few rows will be the exact same pattern that we'll be doing until our V for our V neck is completed so I'll be repeating the pattern going across the row so I'll do my half double crochet here beside that a slip stitch and a half double crochet so the regular pattern I'm gonna do that going across the row and then once we get to our center or once we get to our marker here we'll go ahead and do our decreases in the last two stitches so I've completed the pattern going across the row and I've gotten to my last two stitches of the row and we'll be repeating what we did in our last two rows where we'll be doing a half double crochet two together because this these are the stitches that align with our center and we're going to be doing our decrease stitch in these last two stitches so I'm going to start by removing my marker 
and then I'm going to do my half double crochet. I'm going to start that by yarning over, pulling up a loop, and in the stitch beside it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull through a loop in that stitch as well. So now we have four loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and then I'll do that same half double crochet two together to start the round. So I'll start by yarning over. I'm going to insert my hook inside that first stitch, pulling through a loop. I'm going to insert my hook in the stitch beside it, pulling through a loop. That leaves us with four loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull the yarn through all four loops. I'll place my marker back on that first stitch. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the regular stitch pattern going across the row. So you can go ahead and continue the pattern as I've demonstrated going across the row, but also continuing the pattern until our V line here is completed. Now this is what my work looks like after completing a few more rows here for my neckline. Now I'm going to be stopping at this point and that's because this is going to be the width that I'm going to use for my shoulders. Of course if you'd like a smaller size shoulder you can go ahead and do a few more decreases. If you'd like it wider you can stop at any point that you'd prefer. Now I completed, starting here, I would have completed 19 rows in total, but remember we also had done four rows here to start. So in total we've done 23 rows. We want to have the same number of rows as we did for our back panel. And remember, and remember for that panel we would have done 46 rows. So I'm going to go ahead and add 23 more rows here, but I'm going to do that using the regular stitch pattern. I won't be adding any more decreases. So starting here, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and turn my work. And I would have ended the last row with a half double crochet two together, but I'm going to be doing this row just using the regular pattern. So I'm gonna start that by doing a slip stitch. And you can go ahead and place a marker on that slip stitch so that you know where the row begins and where it ends. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the stitch beside it. A slip stitch to follow and then I'm going to do a half double crochet and slip stitch and repeat the pattern going across the row. Now at the end of the row here I'll just remove my marker. I did a half double crochet there so I'm going to end the row with a slip stitch, chain one, I'm going to turn my work and do a half double crochet to start the row. Place my marker back on top of that half double crochet stitch. And then I'm gonna continue the pattern. So I slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, and repeat that going across. And again, we'll just be doing the regular pattern going across, no decreases. So you can just go ahead and complete that until you've done your 23 rows. So I've completed the pattern on this side. You'll see our neckline where we did our decreases here. And where we stopped or decreases, then the pattern just becomes straight on both sides. Now we're going to do the same on this side here as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start from the middle of our work here, and where we have 
or marker just go ahead you can remove your marker at this point and then I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch where my marker was I'm going to yarn over and pull through a loop and then I'm going to chain one now I'm going to do going across I'm going to repeat the exact same pattern that I would have done on this side so I'm going to start by doing a half double crochet two together so again that's where we yarn over we pull up a loop and the stitch beside it we're going to pull through a loop as well and then we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops now I'm going to go ahead and place my marker on that first half double crochet so that I know where the row begins and then I'm going to complete the pattern going across so we do a slip stitch in the next stitch we're going to follow that with a half double crochet and a slip stitch and we're just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern as normal going across where we do a half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch so we're going to repeat that going across the row so i've completed the row and at the end of the row here i'm going to remove my marker i've just done a half double crochet so i'm going to end the row with a slip stitch and then i'm going to chain one and turn my work and do a half double crochet to start the row I'm going to place my marker back on that half double crochet and we're, remember we're doing this in the exact same way that we did the other side here which means that we won't be doing a decrease on this side we're going to do the pattern as normal going across so in my next stitch I'll do a slip stitch and a half double crochet slip stitch and half double crochet and I'm going to repeat the the pattern until I have two stitches remaining now you'll see where I have two stitches remaining one here and one here and in those two stitches I'll be doing a half double crochet two together so I'll yarn over and that's because that's where we've gotten to the center now right so we're doing it in exactly again the same way we did that side so I'm going to yarn over, insert and pull through a loop. In the stitch beside it, I'm going to pull through another loop. That's going to give me four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. And then I'm going to start the row here with a half double crochet two together. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through a loop in the stitch beside it. I'm going to pull through another loop and then I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all four loops. And I'll just take my marker here and place it on top of that stitch. And then I'm going to repeat the pattern going across. So again, that's me doing a slip stitch next, followed by a half double crochet, slip stitch, and half double crochet. So at this point, you should be familiar with the pattern to complete. We're doing the exact same thing that we did on this side. So you can just go ahead and complete the pattern as we did before until both sides are completed. Now, after completing, both sides this is what the v-neck pattern is gonna look like now the back of our work will look like this instead with no v-neck cut out it will just be a straight panel going upwards and for that's the back panel for our front panel it will look like this
So I'm going to show you how to put these pieces together. So taking a crochet needle, you can go ahead and thread that. And then we're just going to go ahead and sew the top. So right here at the top, we're just going to sew from this side to this side. And then just cut all the excess yarn. And now we want to do that on this side as well. Now once both sides are completed, you can go ahead and just do the seams on the sides going down on both sides. After you complete your seams going across as well as going down at the sides here, you're going to want to place a rib-like pattern like this going all around the arm area. We're also going to place it all around our v-neck going all around and on this side as well. Now to make the rib pattern, we're going to start by making a slip knot and then we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we would have done this rib stitch before to start our vest. So we'd skip that first stitch the first chain here and then we're going to go in our next chain and do a slip stitch. Now atop that slip stitch you can go ahead and place a marker to mark where your first stitch is. And then we're going to do slip stitches going across the row. So we should have six slip stitches in total. This is three. four, five, and six. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now in the first stitch of the row, which is here, we're going to insert our hook through the middle of the stitch, pulling through a loop, and pulling that through the loop on the hook. That's gonna be our first stitch of the row. You can place a marker on that as well. And continue doing slip stitches across the row. Once you get to the end of the row, you remove the marker you do your last slip stitch in that stitch where the marker was, chain one, turn your work, and repeat the pattern. Now in the end, this is what your work should look like. You wanna make it as long as you can to ensure that it goes all around our arm. And I'm going to show you how we seam this piece and our arm piece together. Now I've gone ahead and thread a smaller crochet needle and taking my ribbed pattern here, I'm gonna place it on the inside and start seaming it going all the way around. So I'm going to start by inserting my hook through a stitch like that. Taking my ribbed stitch here, I'm going to go ahead and insert my needle through the first stitch as well. 
and pull it all the way through. Now from the back, I'm going to insert it in the next stitch which falls here. As well as under the stitch on this side. And that's really what I'm going to repeat going across. So. So I'm really just going to complete that using the same stitch pattern as I've been doing and I'm going to do that going all the way around. Now once you've gone ahead and sewn the rib pattern going all around your arm, I'm just going to go ahead and also sew these pieces together. I'm going to join them together like this. And then I'm just going to close out the round by doing a knot. Now once done, I'll just go ahead and cut the excess yarn. And taking the band for my v-neck, I'm going to do the same as I've done before for my arms here where I'll just seam the ribbed pattern to my v-neck. Now it should go around all the way around to the neck at the back here, coming all the way down. And then once we're here, we can just go ahead and tie it off this way. Now I'll also be cutting all the excess yarn from my work. And I'll do that all across. In some aspects, you may need to also weave the yarn through. So I'll show you how to do that. So I've gone ahead and completed the seam for the v-neck here. I've also turned my work inside out. So the seam, you'll see it here on the inside. I turned it inside out and this is the final look. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.